Okay, we're going to be replacing this laptop screen. Uh, my daughter dropped the laptop. The screen got all cracked. I'll give you guys a look at what the screen looks like before replacement. And obviously it is messed up pretty bad. So that's what we're dealing with here. I'm going to go ahead and power down. And before we get started, I'm going to take the battery out. And on your computer, there may be a black piece of tape across this bottom section or some uh, just some pieces of tape just over the screws but there are four screws here 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 and here and that's the first thing we're going to take off are these screws Okay, so now that I got these four screws off, the only thing to do at this point is to basically pry, pry this uh, plastic around the screen off. And I have a spatula here. You may have something better than that, but just something that's going to kind of help you pry without leaving marks. That's why I'm using a spatula. little clips all along Let's use a screwdriver to kind of lift it up just get in there and you can hear it popping up as I run the spatula along this seam right here want to be careful not to flex too much you don't want to crack the little clips it's okay if a few of them get cracked it's not going to be the end of the world but if you crack too many then it, this piece of molding won't sit flush whenever you put your new screen on there's also slightly adhesive type material. All in all, I'd say this comes off fairly easily. See, I'm also going to run it along the bottom of the screen here. Just don't jam it too far in because you don't want to hit a connector. There it is. You can hear the adhesive in there. If yours is stickier than this, you may want to use a hair dryer to blow. Okay, there we go. So this is off. This plastic piece is off now. And I see the speakers back here and the screen. The speakers we can just kind of put aside. And it Take looks this like off. there's a screw here, 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 and here. We need to take off now.
should be able to lift this panel out at this point. cable with adhesive on the back so before you flex it too much just remove the cable from the back you can flop it on down and carefully remove the cable there and then this is the main main cable right here and Let's go ahead and get in real tight there. There's a piece of adhesive across the front. Okay, so we're going to work at getting this connector off. We want to be careful here because if we screw this part up, And as you peel the tape up, that actually flips this little uh, connector off, and then you're able to just pull the connector out. So it's good. And now we have screen off. Pretty simple. That's all it is, is one connector. And that's the old screen. And we'll go ahead and bring in the new screen that I bought from Screen Country. We got it to us pretty quick. And I got to say, I was pretty impressed with this box. This is a very rigid box. Then within the box is a bubble mailer in there. So I'm, I was pretty happy with how... Uh, so this, uh, this is packaged pretty well. And here's the new screen here. There is a there's a film you have to take off on the front. Okay. It's already oriented the right way. And here is Here's our connector down here. Get in there nice and tight. Can get in tight on that? On the connector? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and slide it in straight carefully. Bring the little lock down. Adhesive on. Kind of try to put this back like it was for the most part. These little clips are a little bent, but that's not a problem. Just bend them back. It's pretty nice if you look. Get in real tight there we go ok I'm just going to start putting these screws back on First two will be the hardest. Kind of holding the screen up. 
And after I get one on, I think I'm going to test it just for fun before I put everything back on just to make sure everything's working good. Because if I happen to turn it on and this screen is cracked and I don't know about it, I'd rather know now. I don't expect the screen to be cracked, but you can't always tell. And we've got all of our electrical connections made. picture here. Well, it's doing a Windows update. <laughs> but I can tell just looking all around now, there's no cracks or anything like that. The picture looks, the words look nice and sharp, so I think we're good to go. Just got to put two more screws in for the screen. And I've done, this is only my second time doing a laptop screen replacement. My experience is pretty limited. I've done one screen replacement on a netbook a few years back and then now I'm doing this one and then other than that the only kind of screen replacement experience I have is on a cell phone and this has been so far unless I do something stupid now this has been a real breeze very refreshing compared to those other experiences I've had. And this looks like it's going to be the only slightly difficult thing. Uh, you have to actually line this little speaker up with the holes. Looks like it should snap in somehow. The connector's got to go in there. There we go. That's in position now. All right. Yeah, that's not terribly hard. Okay, now what we got to do is going to actually start at the bottom. slip out of there. Shoot these screws through that speaker now while it's still in place. Okay, that's tight. But yeah, this is by far the easiest screen replacement I've ever done on anything. And it's just a matter of pressing all around firmly. And two more screws. If you have your little stickers, you can put them back over the screws. We don't have that luxury. I thought that big black sticker across here was supposed to come off when we bought it. So uh, I should also mention that other screen I bought for a netbook was also from Screen Country. So 
so I've had two good experiences buying from those guys. It's one of those things where the prices look so good, look too good to be true, but they really are that good. So that is that.